Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five features of Google Keep that you and your students should know how to use. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm in my Google Keep account here at keep.google.com. This is actually my dog Max's account. And let's do the first thing that you should know how to do with Google Keep, and that is create a reminder for yourself. And so you can do this in Google Keep in your web browser or on the mobile version. Let's say I need to set a little reminder of turn in homework for Mr. Burns class. Let's say the assignment is due this morning. Okay. Morning. Now, let's click on this little remind me button and we're gonna turn this into a reminder now we can say later today tomorrow next week we can pick a specific date and time so let's say we want to set a reminder for let's say oh 11 15 a.m we can do that and we can have it repeat or not repeat depending on the type of reminder that we're setting for ourselves. So let's hit save. Now you'll notice that there's also the option there when we created that note, let's remove that reminder for now. Let's put that back in here and we're going to pick a place for our reminder. So we're gonna set Google Keep to know our location and let's choose a location. So when I get to school, let's say, now when I get to school, that reminder will appear for me in my web browser if I have desktop notifications enabled. It will also appear on the mobile device that I'm using as well. So we now have that reminder. Now, we want to try to keep some organization in our Google Keep. And the best way to do that is to create a set of labels. This is the second thing students should know how to do. Let's go over here on the left-hand side and edit our labels. Let's create a new label. You'll see by default, you have personal and work. I'm gonna create this schoolwork or if I'm a student who's taking multiple courses, I might do something like history. And then let's add another label, science. And we'll do one for math. And we'll do one for language arts. So we have a bunch of labels now and Let's now put this note in the history label. So to do that, let's go over here, hit more, let's add label and put that into history. Now, when I click on history, I'll see my history note. I can go back here and see all of my notes and reminders in one place. Now, the third thing you should know how to use in Google Keep is the bookmarking feature. There are a couple of ways you can go about bookmarking websites with Google Keep. The first one is simply to take a link like this one and create a note and say, give it a title. and add that in there. And now we have our note. And again, we can add a label, put it in that way. But we can also use the Google Keep Chrome extension and click the Chrome extension. And then we can take a note about it and say, Include this in the research paper. And we can add a label to it. Let's add history. 
And so that bookmark is now going to appear over here in my history collection of notes. But there's more. We can also simply highlight a section of text, right-click on it, and save selection to keep. And again, we can add that into our history section. Let's say, an act repealing the Stamp Act. And we'll see that saving. And so that will now be in my Google Keep as well under my history section. Now, there's another way we can use the Chrome extension for Google Keep, and that is to save images. Let's say I'm using a website like pixabay.com to find images that are in the public domain, and I want to find a picture of a deer. So I have this picture of a deer. If I simply right click on the image, I can save the image to keep, and we can take notes. This is a drawing of a deer. We can add a label to it. Let's put this one in science. And now it's saved. And let's go to my science label here, and we can see the image. If I want to download the image, I can do so by again right clicking and then saving that image as and save it to my computer. If I open that up again, we'll see here, we can copy that to my Google Docs. I can add a drawing to this. I can add a, an additional label if I want to. And if the image included text, we can grab the image text. This one doesn't, however. But you'll notice when I did that, it included the link to the image source. And the last thing you should know how to use in Google Keep here is how to insert your Google Keep notes into a Google document. So I have a sample research document here, and I'm going to insert some notes from Google Keep. So on the right-hand side, I have Keep, and I can now go and insert any of these into my document. So let's say Add to Document, and now I've added that drawing right into my document. If I wanted to include an act repealing the Stamp Act, well, again, let's go ahead and add that to my document. And so we can add those things right into those documents. So those are five features of Google Keep that you and your students should know how to use. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.